on the computer when you got this error code? Yeah, I tried to get to YouTube actually to look up uh, some dinner tips. I, I was trying to cook a, a new kind of meal, and, and I, I tried to type in YouTube.com, and all of a sudden, I guess you guys detected this this virus. All right, sir. See, what happens is when you're connected to the Internet, you visit n number of websites, and we never know which one is trustworthy and which is not. So it is quite possible that unknowingly you might have visited some untrustworthy website which contains some malicious content and it got automatically downloaded to your computer and start corrupting your computer. That is the time your computer is designed in such a way that it generates alert messages and pops up on your screen to contact the global certified technician team. Okay. So that is the alert message that you are getting right now. But do not worry. But what we'll do is, I'll connect you to the central secure server, and then we'll try to scan and detect these types of errors and remove them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so you said the globe, the global security support something. Yes, sir. I'm going to connect you to the server, central secure server. So just look down on the left bottom corner of your keyboard. Can you see a CTRL control key? Well, I um. Uh, hold, hold on, let me uh. On the. Yeah, yeah, the control. I got that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And just besides the control key, can you see the Windows key? Okay. Uh, what is it? It's like the. F kind of looks like a flag right is that that's what like pops up on my computer first starts up yes 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 that's the flag like structure microsoft logo key that is the windows key we are going to use that key very often on this process so what you need to do is just press that windows key along with letter r r as in romeo at the same time Hey, what's this going to, uh, what does this do? Yeah, it will bring a small box on the screen left bottom corner. It says run. Okay, let me just finish starting the com computer back up. I got to log in really quick. Um, okay, is it safe for me to type in my password? Yeah, sure. You can type in your password. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm in here. So I'm just pressing the. Uh, what was it that con control? C control. No, no, sir. Just the Windows key and letter R, not the control key. Oh, okay. Okay, it popped up something called run. Uh, type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you, it says. Yes, that, that's correct, sir. So please type in that box. You need to type over there, I explore. Okay. I, E, X, P, L, O, R, E, I, explore, and give it space. Okay. Um. And type, yes, give a space and type www. All right. So, yeah. Dot, yeah, www dot fast. www dot fast, F A S T fast, support dot com. Wait, wait, so. Do I type the www a couple different times, or is it just the the one time in the beginning? No, like just normal? once. Once, yeah, yeah, okay. normal. Okay. So the entire message is I explore space www dot fast support dot com. www dot fast. Okay. Uh, let me click. I just click OK here or browse or like I want to browse yeah, the website. Click OK. 
Oh, okay. okay. Click on okay. That will bring you to this tablish support connection page. Yeah, it looks like it's it's just kind of slow, but let's try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, establish support connection. It says type the name and support key that I received from my technician. Did you send did yeah. you already say that? Please, I'm sorry. Please Yeah, please enter your full name and let me know once you're ready for the support key. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just let me know uh, what the, the code is. Yeah, it's 247. 247, two, okay. 815. Five, okay. 005. Zero, zero, okay. And click on continue. Okay. It will give you option run, save or cancel. Click on run. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm installing it right now. Yeah, it may ask for your pro permission to run the program. Click on yes. Do you want uh, the following program? It says v yes. It Click says yes YG to approve session. Oh, okay. Is yes. that is that your name? It yes Why? to approve session. Okay. All right, sir. Now the connection has been established successfully. You can see the cursor moving on the screen. That is me. And now we are connected. So you can leave your mouse for a while and I'll check on from here. Okay. Right. So you are the main user and owner of this computer, right? Yeah, yeah. This is um this is my computer. And what do you do most of the time on this computer? Like what do you use it for? Yeah, m most of the time I just watch YouTube videos. Um, mm -hmm. I don't get on here too much. I I've mostly been uh, just trying to cook and and learn uh, learn cook. I'm trying to figure out how to cook uh, sausage tenderloins. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so I, when, like I said, I tried to go to YouTube and. And all of a sudden, I got that message. Yeah, I, I recently, like, have you ever cooked with uh, cast iron before? Sir, I request you please leave your mouse. Do not touch your mouse. Okay. Yeah. Um. Are you are you still there? I don't see my mouse or anything happening on the computer. Yes. Uh, are you getting any type of option on your screen? No, I don't see anything on my screen. Should I? No, 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 sir. 
Just leave your mouse for a while. Okay. What are we? What's happening right now? Are you? I'm conf I'm confused. Sir, we are connected. You are connected to the central secure server. I'm going to run a scan on the network. Oh, okay. Is that something that I can see, or do I just have to like sit and look at the um the desktop? Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm running this scan on the network at the background, sir. It is running. Okay. How how long does that usually take? I do have a a couple things in the oven. I don't know how they're going to turn out, but. Is it usually, does it usually take a while or what? Yeah, it takes, uh, it takes some time. Yeah, can you just press the Windows key with letter R at the same time once more? Yeah, um, you, you need me to do that right now? Yes. Oh, it didn't work that time. Okay. All right, all right. Right, sir, you see this black window on the screen? Yeah, it looked like something was just typing network security compromise. Is that like a hacker or something? Yes, this network security has been compromised. As you see on the screen, there are some local address and some foreign address. Dude, I'm going to have to stop you right local there, man. Address. I'm going to have to stop you right here. Is this your first time trying to scam yes, somebody? Is this your first time you've ever tried to scam somebody this way? Are you are you new here or, or what? Um. What's going on? Sir, what are you saying? I'm running the scan on the network. No, 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 I'm not. This isn't a... You didn't just do a network scan. You just typed in that my security has been compromised in the c command prompt, man. Did somebody tell you to do that? Like, did, did you just start your job here? Here's what I'm trying to figure Sir. out. Here's an, are you are you a network like a, a a technician? Are you a Microsoft employee or something? No, I'm not a Microsoft employee. I'm a Microsoft certified technician. Okay, and then and when did when did you learn um that particular you know process where you where you go in and type to command prompt and type in network security compromised? Is that is that on a script that somebody gave you like your supervisor or something? He hung up on me. I was trying to talk to him about it because he does not know what he's doing, clearly. He just hung up, though. Um, all right. Our security is so... Our security is okay, so... Um, unfortunately, he didn't want to talk. My my hope was that uh, maybe I could shed some shed some light onto what just happened to him. Sorry, I didn't keep going. I mean, I could I just felt like this guy has no idea what he's doing, and um, I was hoping maybe there was a little bit of a chance that I could get him before he gets too far into his whole scamming career. But maybe that was naive of me. I'm gonna call him back because I. They obviously wanted to connect to my computer. Oh crap, now that I think about it, maybe I should just do a different voice and hope I get him back. He might have been someone who would have logged into like his payment terminal on my computer or something, so that's kind of a bummer, but um, I'm going to try to call him right back. And uh, 
I'll just do my a different voice or something if I need to. Actually, you know what we should do? Really quick. Uh, I'm working on getting a voice changer, everyone. We'll we'll have that soon enough. I think I started to make Jebediah a whole other user, so I can just switch back and forth. Um. Yeah, I did. Cool. I gotta get him a nice goat back. Actually, you know what? I might just leave it this. I actually do have something that has some some of like fake passwords and stuff. I'll I'll show you guys that in a sec. Oh, what's happening, Bing? Why are you failing me? All right, ready? Awesome goat picks. That seems like something. Unfortunately, I'm looking at all these blind, so I'm a little bit like <laughs> a little nervous about what I might see. So give me one second here. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Awesome goat picks. Best goat ever. How do I like... I don't even know how to use... <laughs> Bing. It's It frustrates me. Like, I need to take a... I need to learn how to use Bing just, because, just to get backgrounds for this thing. I never, or sorry, I should say Internet Explorer and Bing, because now this is going to look funky, but that's okay. All right, let's call them back. Uh, I'm going to change my number. And this time, I won't immediately try to talk some sense into this guy. I'll grow up. Oh, I'll also put, because this is something that uh, Jebediah might do. I do have, oh, I just realized my documents folder won't be here, will it? Because it's a different user. Oh, I can do this. Uh, maybe I can? Okay. Uh, my documents... Nudes. Here we go. Okay. So the bank just, uh, if they click this, it just, it just pops this up. Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh, never mind. It'll work. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll hope this happens. Hey, animal. It's been a while. You too. <laughs> Alright, let's give him a call back. Let's give him a call back. Thank you for calling the support hotline. Press 1 to speak with the next available agent. Hello there. Hello. Can you hear me? Thank you for calling online technical support. My name is Patrick. How may I assist you today? Hello there. I seem to have an issue with my computer. I don't know if that's what was affecting your phone there, but I, all of a sudden uh, I have this big old pop-up on my computer. 
And what does it say, sir? Well, it seems to be that you guys detected a malicious virus on the PC tonight. There's a malicious virus onto the computer? Yeah, it says here that uh, Windows detected a malicious virus, and I, I wrote down the error number. I, I ended. Up, I tried. I tried to call my son to see to see if he could help me out, but I, I, he he ain't called me back. So I, I wrote your number down, and uh, after after I unplugged my computer, I, I figured I'd give you a call. Okay, so your computer's turned off right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was a little afraid. Of, you know, it started, the fans started getting real loud on it, and I, I was worried maybe something was happening with the uh, the, the, the virus in there. And, and, and I know if you overheat when you have a virus, things are pretty bad. So I, I just unplugged it right quick, and I, I wrote down, I had I'd written down part of this error message, and I, and I called you right quick. Sure. What would be the error number, sir? Well, I hit, I got down a, a, a three six five a eight, and then and then a little D, okay, and and it had a fifty five after it, and uh, I I, I uh -huh. can't really I can't really understand the next two things I wrote. I I kind of scribbled it down on a pad, but but then there was a a twenty two ca C A California C A at the end. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what kind uh, of virus. I don't know what kind of virus that it is, but I, I I don't know if I like it or not. Well, sir, um, you know the error number is quite not clear. But then, what it seems to me, it is related to the infections from the internet. Now, I need to ask you, what were you doing on your computer when you got that security alert? Well, yeah, I, I just follow them up on my favorite uh, YouTube channel about about my goats. I I, I do have, uh. I have goats, but in the in the backyard. So I was trying to look up a couple of things on the YouTube. I I typed the YouTube in there on the Bing. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No problem, sir. I will be glad to assist you with this. And in order to assist you in a better way, I need you to turn on your computer and tell me if it's a laptop or a desktop that you're using there. Yeah. 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 This this is one of them Dell uh, Dell laptops. It's a Dell laptop. Okay, can turn it on, sir. Okay, now, now what's the best way to turn it on? Is there any sp particular way? Well, sir, if you, like you, there's only one way. You just normally turn it on. Okay, well, yeah, I, I'm unplugged it. I, I just thought maybe you know I'll plug it in again. I, I didn't know if there was like a secret, a secret way to do it that's that's safer or something. But I I I got it starting up right now. It's it's showing that little Windows uh. The little Windows message. It's still there on your computer right now. What? What? Well, well, no. It's showing uh, right now it's showing the Windows little message every time you get in there. You know now now it's asking me for the logon password. Yes. Type in your logon password. Okay, yeah, and, and nobody's going to be able to to take that or see that or anything? It's safe to do that? Sir, so I would have to check, you know, what's going on in there. Only then I would be able to give you the answers to your questions. Don't worry, but now you've reached the right place. My name is Patrick, sir. I'm one of the Microsoft Certified Online Technicians. Oh, okay, okay, great. Oh. I, well, I'll, I'll type in my password then. I, I, I hope that no one can... Uh, can I access that? But sure. okay, yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's just the name of my firstborn goat kid, uh, Frank T. So I, I typed that in, and now I, I do see my desktop now. Fantastic! It's turned on, correct? Yeah, I I just see my desktop right now. Okay, now sir, take a look at the keyboard of your computer. At the bottom left corner, there is a key that says CTRL. Do you see that? Well, yes, I do, Patrick. Uh, on the keyboard of your computer, at the bottom left corner, there is a key that says CTRL. Do you see that key? Uh, the control yeah, key. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do. I do see that, Patrick. I see that. 
Okay. Next to the control key, there is an FN key. And next to the FN key, there is a Windows key. Right? Okay, yeah. It looks like that thing when I was starting up my PC, like a little flag. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what, what do I do? I just so press, that press that Foursquare key is the Windows key. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, what I want you to do is, sir, I want you to press and hold the Windows key down. And while pressing it down, press R as in Romeo. Okay, so I, I'm hold, I hold it down, I press the, hold it. Probably Google, I see a run, a run, type the name of program, folder, document, or internet That's resource. Correct. That's correct. And, uh, well, That's I, the I, one we want. I feel like I'm a captain now. I know all about, about this thing. I appreciate that. Now, what do I, what do I type in there? That should not be a problem at all, sir. Okay. So what you, uh, what you got to type in that box is, first, uh, leave all the keys and start typing in that box. Type in I explore. This is all one word, no spaces, spelled as I as an indigo. Okay, yeah, like that. I like the explorers. I I got it. I explorers. I explore. Right, right. It's I explore. I as an indigo, and then explore. That is E X P L O R E. Okay, yeah. Now, what, what do I type after that? Yet? I see. So I just type I Explorer and I see it. Do I click OK? Hello, Patrick. Did I lose you? Do I uh, is ever Hello there? Yes. I lost. I lost. Can did, you hear? Can you still hear me? Did you? T did you? T yes, I can hear you, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I top. I topped in. I explore just like you see it. Perfect. Now, given a space. Okay, I did. And then type in www dot. Okay, I I I think I got that in there now. Fast support. Okay. W W W like uh da fast support. Mm -hmm. Is that a, a, a dot a dot org or a dot com or what kind of uh, you're taking me to a website right with the W's? Right. Yeah. So did you type in www dot fastsupport.com uh, yeah, 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 I did. Do I, do I go ahead and uh, click on OK or, or what do I do there? Do I want to browse? Do I want to browse it like a like a web page? Like when I when I look up them honey badges on on the uh, internet? No, sir. No, no. I believe in that small box. You have I explore space www dot fast support.com is that correct yeah yeah i do that, that's right now you click on okay when you click on okay sir this will open internet explorer on your computer screen with a page opened in it that would say establish support connection and there would be two boxes right underneath that the first box would ask for your name while the second box would ask for a support key. Do you see that page? Yeah, I, I, well, it's trying to, it's chugging along here, trying to load up. Okay. All right, yeah, it says, uh, to establish a support connection, type your name and the support key, receive from correct. the technician and That's click correct. on oh, Okay, yeah. So in the first box, I want you to type in your first name, space your last name, 
and let me know when you are ready for the second box which is the support key okay yeah I'm, i am uh, i am ready okay sir so the support key is 736 Four five five four five five one seven zero. Sure. Click on continue. When you click on continue sir this will give you a pop up at the extreme bottom of the internet explorer in a thin bar that would have three options to run save and cancel you need to click on run okay yeah it looks like it's trying right did you click on run from the extreme bottom sir Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's trying to the download something. It wants me to 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 run a a assist opener. Sure, sure. Yes. Now, in few seconds, there would be a pop up from the user account control of your computer that would say, "Do you want the following program to allow changes onto the computer?" Click on yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I try. I'm trying it right now. It, it says it's a verifying a support key and a. and connect in the sum. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, now now what I ask if uh, if is Zio Zio Elmax. Click on yes sir. Click on yes. Yes. Okay, Click now, on yes. Now now I thought your name was Patrick not uh not Zomax. Who's who's Zomax? Well, sir, Zomax is the username for uh this software. So Don't worry about that. Okay, Now that's like a new Microsoft with, thing. Sorry. That's like a new Microsoft thing or something. Should I should I be getting that on my, on my PC Zomax? Oh no, sir. That's the username that we are using for this uh, application. Okay. Okay. Now okay. I want you to take a look at your computer screen, sir. Do you see the cursor moving around your computer screen and I'm putting down the windows here Okay yeah 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 now now I see my goat yeah Okay let me tell you sir that right now your computer is connected with our secured servers okay and uh, any infection that would be going on to your computer right now it will not be able to spread further till the time you are connected with our secured servers okay Okay, that, yeah, with the zo the zo mat. That sounds good to me. Right. Now, uh, let me tell you, sir. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, what did you name your goat? I'm so I'm sorry. What? What did you name your goat, sir? That 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 there's Frankie T. Ah, oh, it's pretty. Oh, that that's my kind of you, sir. I, I appreciate that. Now, now you have a uh, you have any goats where you are? Of course, yes, yes. But not at my uh, like. We don't have a pet. Uh, we have like pet dogs, but not goat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I, you know, I don't really have a have a dog, but I, I think that's all right. I, I mostly uh, I I use the goats for their uh, their milk. You know. I see. Well, I have heard that goat's milk is really amazing. I mean like although uh it is like uh, you know, not bearable in terms of smell, but then it is really healthy. Yeah, yeah, I mean and those then those puppies never really produce milk you can drink, you know. I, you know, I think uh, goats are really the way to go for that kind of thing. Right. All right. Okay. So, uh well, I can see sir that you've got a very nice computer there. How old is it? Well, you know what? I, I don't quite remember. I I, I tell you my, my son, you know, helped me put this together a while ago when I it, it, it's it's not the most up to date, but I, I think it's pretty good.
Okay. No problem. No problem. So, uh, I can see that you've got a very nice computer there, sir. And according to its configuration, the computer is good enough to work for you for like another five, six years without giving you any troubles. But then what I'm noticing is, sir, you don't have any security installed into your computer. Why is that? Well, uh, to, to tell you the truth, I don't, I don't really know much about, about that. I, I, I think I, I probably, my son might have put something on it, but I, I don't really know. I, I, I just kind of go look up the, the GOAT stuff. I, I follow a couple blogs. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what all do you do on your computer, sir? Well, well uh, most of the time, I, I'm just looking up information about my goats and, and, you know, the best way to process the milk and, and keep them healthy. And I, I go on the YouTube a lot. But I, I, some, sometimes I mm -hmm. do pay, pay my bills. Uh, but my son, you know, he, my son set up the, the privacies on, on my, my Explorer. So no, so nobody sees the sites I go to. Cause he told me that the, uh, the people might be able to see that and, uh, get my, my information. So he, uh, I think uh, when they're I, they're still getting your information. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I do some, some of my bank, uh, transactions, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't okay. know about that. So if in case you're doing any sort of, you know, uh, payments through online or if you do any sort of online banking or shopping or any personal work emails, you need to stop doing that immediately because right now your computer is at risk. Okay. Okay. And, now, now uh, what's this message you here? You don't about? have a... I'm sorry? What's this thing asking me about being a robot? I, I don't feel like I'm a robot here. Is that because of the Zomax? Is that because Zomax is a robot? Or, or no, no, no. Your computer is very much infected right now, sir. Okay. Well, what kind of a and, what, what, uh, what is that? What kind of infection? What What do you mean? That's what I'm going to check right now, sir. It can, uh, because you have turned off your computer, if you would have turned it on, then I would have seen that uh, error message myself. What that is say? But well, there's then no way right to find now, that. I there's no way to know. Check your computer. Sorry. Okay. okay yeah, I, I would feel feel more comfortable if I knew what it was. You know why? Absolutely. Uh, that's what I'm going to do, sir. I have. I will have to go ahead and diagnose this computer now completely, and okay, check yeah, my, my what son, is. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, to, to to be honest, they they are Patrick. My, my son told me to stay stay away from the Google. He said they're uh, they kind of track all that I do. So I usually use the Bing. I, okay, I, I go to Bing. I don't I don't know what what you recommend. I don't. He told he told me that, that that works the best with the Microsoft stuff. So Google is one of the best, and of course Bing is also good. Okay. So there's no harm using Google, but the harm is, you know, not having a security inside the computer. Okay. Now, since you do not have any security inside the computer, sir, what I believe is that your computer is already in an infection, which is why it is not working properly. Okay. Because we are trying to search something else, and it's taking us all together to a different page. Okay, yeah, I, I haven't now, seen that before. Sorry? Yeah, I haven't seen that before. Okay, now, now well, what is this? You what, what, what? be working onto your computer properly, sir. No picture is getting loaded. What's, it's been working this way? Well, not not since before. Well, I mean, I mean, everything seemed to be okay earlier, but I, I don't really know. Now, now, what's this? Uh, what's this advanced protector? Sir, can you click on continue? I don't, I, I see a yes and a no. Yes, click on yes. Okay. All right, just allow me one moment. Now, what kind of, uh, what, the, uh, 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 identity protector? What's, what's that for? 
does the infection, it says that there is infection going on onto the computer, okay? Now, I don't, I don't see that. I don't see that same are, message. I don't see that same message. What, what do you mean? No, what I'm saying is that the since there are infections going on onto the computer, the possibilities are that they might have been stealing information from your computer. Okay. So, this tool that I'm running into your computer will help us identify what all infections have been there or what all things have been tried and stolen from your computer already. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. You guys can actually figure that out. That is good. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that... I'm, I'm hoping everything's safe, though. Right. I'm just still trying to diagnose the computer, sir. So just allow me one moment, all right? Okay, yeah, you l you let me know if you need me to type anything or do anything. Sure, absolutely, sir. So apart from this problem, sir, tell me how's the day been for you? Well, I, you know, I, w I woke up, I, I cooked some uh, bacon and eggs in my skillet. I went on to church, you know, I got, got to get in that time with the good Lord. And I saw I saw some of my, my good friend. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, we actually ended up uh, just singing to the goats this afternoon. I, I think that actually helps them produce some pretty good milk if you, if you sing them, you sing to them. I don't know if, I don't know if you do any singing yourself, Patrick. I'm sorry, you wonder if I do any what? Do, do you sing at all, Patrick? Oh yes, I do. I do. Okay, yeah, I, I find it, I find it both relaxing for myself. And the goats end up really liking it, you know. They they lick you all over, and then and the and the uh, the milk just. I feel like it probably really improves the quality. But what kind of what kind of stuff do you uh, like to sing, Patrick? Uh, well, I can, sir. To be very honest, I am a music lover. Okay, and uh, I listen to any kind of music, and I sing any kind of music. Okay, you you like you like a country music at all? Right, yeah. John Denver and everyone, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you what. So I, I got a taste of every kind of genre. Yeah, I'll tell you what, one of my favorite songs ever, by far, mm -hmm. is the Boot School and Boogie. You ever heard that one? Sorry, which one you said? It's called the Boot Scoot and Boogie. You heard that one? I apologize. It's like a heel toe, dose to door. Come on, baby, let's go, boot scooting. Have you heard that one? Oh, you're playing guitar. Yeah, I, you know, that's something I do quite a bit. I, you know, it's like a Cadillac, Black Jack, baby, meet me out back. We're gonna boogie. I just, I, I'm sorry, I'll tell you what, Patrick. You know, whenever I find a music lover, I just, I got to, you know, share in that. It's a, it's a passion of mine, too. You know, that, now, now, is that a song? Wow. You're an amazing song? singer, sir. Yeah, yeah, you want to, uh, you want to sing along maybe just for a minute while we run this scan? We can go, uh, at the, the very end uh, is my favorite. Uh, click on yes, sir. On okay, yeah, 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 my favorite part right here at the end of the course, it goes, uh, oh, get down, turn around, boogie town, boo, scoo, boo, -hee. Right, uh, sir, can you click on yes on the computer? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. You think, you think maybe we could just sing that last line together just as music lovers? I think it's like a mutual thing. It goes, uh, get down, turn right. around, boogie town, boo, scoo, boo, -hee. Right. Don't touch your computer now, sir. And just give me one moment. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, no problem. Well, well, Patrick, I, you know, to be to be honest, I thought maybe. Uh, I thought maybe you'd want to sing. You uh -huh. said you love you love music, and I'm, I'm. 
You know, I, I kind of that's I don't know right, sir. But I want you to uh, click on yes or allow. I don't I don't see any uh, any such thing. Okay, sir, can you click on next on your computer over here? One click next. Hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to find it here. Hold on. Okay. Well, now, now, what is the? the yeah. Now, what is this? It says yeah. the uh, Microsoft malicious software. Click on next. Tool. Okay. Yeah. But why? Why am I going ahead and clicking next here? Who? Who? Would, who is this? So it's a Microsoft Sir, tool. This is my, uh, Windows malicious software removal tool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it is. It is. It is from uh, July 2017, though. I mean, it, is that too old? That's correct. Sir, it's the latest one. July 2017, the latest updated. Okay, I, I clicked you next. Click on full scan. Click on full scan. All right, now click on next. Okay, yeah, it, look, it looks like maybe... Uh, is, it, is this what you wanted? You wanted to just run run a scan or something? That's right, sir. Right now, it is currently running a scan and removing any sort of malicious file that would be there on the computer. So don't worry. Okay? All right, yeah. I mean, it looks like it's going to take a minute. Maybe we could try to uh, sing that chorus one more time. What do you think, Patrick? Sure, but I don't know the lyrics, sir. You you go ahead and sing. Yeah, well, yeah, well, the, well the, very, for the very last part, it says, Oh, get down, turn around, go to town, mm -hmm. boop. Scoot and boogie. You got that? Get down. Turn around. Get down. Go turn around. Yeah, go to town. Boot, scoot, boogie. Get down, turn around, go to town. Boot, scoot, and boogie. So it's like a get down, turn around, go to town. Boot, scoot, and boogie. <laughs> get right. down, turn, turn around. around. Go to town, boot, scoot, and boogie. <laughs> All right, yeah, I like that. Now, right. I'm going to add the guitar this time, okay? So we're going to go. Sure. Here we go, here we go. Get down, turn around. Get down, go, turn, turn around, go to town. Boot, scoot, and boogie. Boogie. <laughs> this is nice, sir. Patrick, I, yeah, you have a, you have a pretty good voice, Patrick. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Well, someday I will sing. Okay. And uh, where, which state are you in, sir? Well, I'm in uh, the great state of Iowa. Where, where are you located? Sorry, uh, where are you? The great state of Iowa. Oh, you're in Iowa. Sir, I am in California, Bakersfield, California. Okay, yeah, you know, you know what? Maybe one of these days we should get together and uh, maybe, maybe, maybe do some singing together. You know, at one of them, uh, one of them uh, karaoke's. Absolutely, let's compose some good music. Yeah, yeah. Now, what, what else? What else here is going on, on my PC? How, how long is this gonna take? Sir, I want you to stop using your computer for a moment. Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. Like, there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of these buttons here. What what all is what all is this stuff? Uh oh, said so, I think it just got canceled. Can you click on cancel here? Okay. Click on cancel. Wait, c click on cancel. Click on cancel, sir. <laughs> yes, click on cancel. Okay. Yes. Click on yes now. Okay. Yeah. Now it says no. No malicious <laughs> software was detected. Yeah. Click on finish, sir. I have like you know I have interrupted. I have aborted the uh, scan. That is because, you know, your computer is. Uh, do you have the administrator privileges for this computer? Well, I I do believe so. I mean, uh, yeah. You you need the password. I I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, there is a password for this computer, right? Yeah, I, th I think I remember it. It might take me a while to to guess it, but bear with me one moment now.
All right, right. You ready for this, Patrick? Get down, turn around. Ready? Get down, go to town. And then you you sing the you sing the next part. Book, go to town, book a town. You remember that, Patrick? I really like that. Get down, turn around, go to town. Boot, boot scoot, boot, boot, boot. Boot. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, that's my favorite part right there at the end. <laughs> well, pa Patrick, I'm 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 having trouble understanding what's what's going on here now. I, I, I you got me all kinds of confused. Okay. okay. Sir, right now your computer is completely damaged and it's not working properly. Okay. And uh, it's work, you know, it's working in an unusual way. So it's because all of these application damages that are happening onto your computer and the infections which are going around. Now, sir, I want you to know if, in case you do any sort of you know personal activity onto this computer, such as online banking or shopping, or if you pay bills online, you need to stop doing that immediately till the time these infections are not cleaned from your computer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, so just, uh, I should just make sure not to to go on like the the Walmart, the Am Amazon, or the or whatever. Don't do any personal activity onto this computer, sir. You would end up compromising those information, and uh, I believe that m some of your information have been tried and accessed from the c uh, computer by the attackers, which is why you got that security alert, because spyware is a network infection okay and uh, whenever there is a network infection sir all the devices or uh, computers which are connected to the same internet they all get infected okay well, I, that, Can you that is not good you know it'd be, kind of, it'd be kind of like if all my goats got the same you know secret sickness today that, that would not be good at all now what what do you want me to, what do you want me to click here right can i can i make I this, is there any way to make this bigger at all country. can i make this uh let me click this this one here Okay. Yeah, click. Uh, just close it. Close. Yeah, you know, it. you know, Patrick. I, I. Oh, you want me to close this whole message here? Right. I've seen what I, uh, what I wanted to, sir. So oh. you can just close it. Okay. Yeah. You know. You know, Patrick. I. You know, one of my goats actually about to give birth in a you know couple of weeks here. I, I'll tell you. I, I think I'm gonna name it Patrick after you. I, I really appreciate all your help tonight. Not a problem at all, sir. That is, I'm like, thanks. I really like that. Yeah, th thank you. I, you know, I think, uh, especially the music, I feel like, you know, Patrick, you and I share a passion together for, for the music, and I, I like that a lot. We sure do, sir. We sure do. Even I play guitar sometimes, so uh, maybe no, sometime, Pat you know, I do bring my guitar here to the workplace sometimes, you know, especially during the Fridays, because Fridays we have a little bit of free time. So we get together in the cafeteria, we play guitar, and uh, we sing. So next time, this Friday, when I come into the office, I'll call you, and I'll seek permission from my manager, if I can do this. I'll get the guitar on the floor. I'll call you. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. It's I'll like a from here. like yeah, a like Friday that. Friday fun day. I like that. You know, is there a, is there actually like an extension number or a way I could get back to talk to you again, Patrick? If I ever have any computer issues. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. I will be giving you all the details right away, and uh, so that we stay in contact. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please go. Please go ahead and and give me that. Uh, yeah, like a call. You have like a, a an ID or an extension, or like you you know how sometimes they say if if you know the the, the extension here, um, mm -hmm. to, to to type it in now. Yeah, do you do you have one of those? Sure, absolutely, sir. Just give me one moment. I'm uh, tr just checking everything that has to be done onto the computer, and uh, we'll make sure, sir, that today. None of your information gets stolen or this computer doesn't stop working, okay? Don't worry. I will make sure that this computer is just like a brand new computer again. We'll remove all the infections from this computer. And uh, you will find your computer just 
as good as a brand new computer once again and to avoid future conflicts like these we will install a security onto the computer so that you got you get the safe experience and your information doesn't get stolen okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean i don't okay. i don't really want any of my my banking details gone missing i i do keep a lot of that stuff on my computer you know that so I, I, right. I really i really wouldn't want that to be uh taken away from me i want now, you to maximize this window sir maximize this window for me okay yeah yeah that's the uh okay hold on hold on here make it big make it big oh, oh no pa oh Pedro, I'm so sorry. Hold, hold on. Well, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Well, we how do, do, how do we get again. that open again? Okay. Okay, Pedro. Now you maximize this window, sir. Make okay. it big. Okay. Yeah, I got that. I I like. Yeah, it's big. It's big now. All right. Okay, now uh, this will take another um, like fifty, forty seconds. So just let it just happen. Okay, now what kind of you uh, what kind of other music do you like? Uh, you know, any kind of other songs that you want to write? Maybe we could like write a song right now. We don't no need to wait till uh, Fun Day Friday or whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, sir, you know, like every call is recorded here, and uh, everyone is around, including my managers and everything. I just can't okay. start singing over the call, you know. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I know you did that a a, a minute ago. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Yet. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Like you know, I mean, like it was just a one liner, so it's okay. But then singing a song all together—that's <laughs> something that I would not be able to do, sir. Now, uh, can I? Is it is it possible yeah. at all? <laughs> You know, just for for future reference, you know, could I could I talk to your manager quick? Just to, I, I think you are an excellent example exemplary, uh, you know, uh, employee. You know, maybe I could tell your manager just to get to give you maybe a like a raise or something. Okay, well, sir, we can surely go ahead and talk all about this. Uh, you know, we have got all the time, but then right now. Your information is getting stolen, and this computer doesn't have time. Okay, I want you to take a look at your computer screen, sir. One by one, there are so many uh, problems going on onto the computer. See, the device drivers are not installed. Okay, so you see here, a driver has not been installed for this device, preventing yeah. it from working properly. Yeah, I see. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if my umbral umbral now, tail, you may my also umbral tail know, you is may working also or not. See I, the, I think I'm getting a couple bits. You know, yeah, tricky part here. It says the device driver for unknown has not been installed. Now this unknown is nothing but just the infection which is going on onto this computer. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. That's not good. Now you see here the severity. Um, missing events in event log. Investigate why 16% events were lost during data collection. Okay. Now, oh, all these oh things are not working on properly onto the computer. So I want you to scroll down. Scroll down. Okay, Patrick. Yeah, I feel like I'm. I'm all kinds of bits are just rolling in. I, I don't really know. That's what they call it, right? When you when you learn things on a on a PC, you get bits, bytes, or something. I, my son tell me about that. All right, so what what about I looking at? There's a whole lot of information here. I'm not really sure. Right, right. I have just uh, just checking it, sir. Okay, I want you to close it. Just close this now. Okay, you you want me to do what now? Cl close this whole thing right here. Close it, sir. Y yes, yes. Close it. That's the uh, oh, that's the big the button. Right, okay, sir. okay, From the yeah. Top right. Oh, the okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Close it, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just close all this out, right? Close. No, I want you to stop using the computer now. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Patrick. 
Uh, right. Okay. Now, let me increase the font size just one moment. Make it 16. Is this visible to you, sir? Yeah, it looks like it says Urgurg. <laughs> yes, okay. So, immediate attention to the network because any device which is connected to this network, it could be a cell phone, iPhone, tablet, Kindle, or printer, or any other computer which is connected to the same internet, they're all at risk right now. So first of all, we need to go ahead and clean the network so all, that all the devices get safe, okay? We need to go ahead and clean this computer. And uh, after the cleaning of the computer, we need to remove infections, attackers and hackers from your computer. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want any of them in here. Damages. I'm sorry, sir. I don't want I don't want any of them in here. That's that's for sure. That's for right. That's for definitely. Absolutely, sir. Don't worry. Which is why I will make sure that your computer is as good as a brand new computer once again, and we'll install the security onto this computer so that you don't face this kind of problem ever again in future. Okay. But yeah, and now do I need to change my passwords from like something like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? You, ever, you remember that one? That's like a long, that could be like a long password, right? It sure is. And yes, last but not least, install security as I was saying, right? Now, sir, in order to fix up this computer for you, the, an online Microsoft certified technician would be fixing the computer the very same way I am working on to this computer right now. That means you don't have to go anywhere. It will be fixed in the next 45 to 60 minutes. Now, let me tell you, sir, while the technicians would be fixing up this computer for you, do not use your computer because if you will use your computer, the technicians will not be able to work onto it properly, okay? So, so I can't so go and uh, look at my, can my Go... Sit. I can't look at my Go Sorry. videos or anything like that? No, sir. I, I don't want you to use your computer at all till the time the technicians will be working onto it. You can simply sit and watch while the tech, what the technicians are doing. And once everything would be done, the technician themselves will give you a call and let you know that everything has been fixed and your computer is safe now and uh, it is good to go. Okay. So till the time they are working, don't use your computer. Okay. Okay, now now you all you all gonna go fix that right now then? I I just go uh I go get some make myself some like guac guacamole or something. I got that goat cheese, That's you know. Right. I, I, the I, technicians I, will go ahead and start fixing up the computer right now. So you don't have to stay on the phone for like sixty minutes. You can simply keep the phone down and the technicians will call you once everything is fixed, okay? But just don't hang up the phone yet. I will need you on the phone for another five minutes. And then, when the technician starts working, you can keep the phone down. All right. Okay. Yeah. Because I I do have something in the oven. I I gotta I gotta get to that in a minute. So I I don't know. Well, is this like a complimentary feature? Because I feature because I'm a, a, a you know a good standing Microsoft uh, customer. I, I have a warranty. Where, what warranty, sir? Well, I have a Microsoft warranty. I think is, is so. This is like a. Is this why you guys are being so helpful? Sir, this is a helpline number for all the Microsoft customers, okay? So, this is a global support. I'm an uh, online Microsoft certified technician, okay? And uh, we will be fixing up this problem for you, okay? And there's a charge in order to go ahead and fix up these problems, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. All right. I, I just don't want my casserole to, you know, be burning in my oven. So, what, what kind of is it like a like a seat? You said there's sure. a, char a charge for this, or, or does my warranty cover it? So there is a charge for this. Okay. So if you want to go to the oven, okay, um, you can go. I'm like I'm here, and uh, let me know when you're back. I'm holding the line. Okay. 
Okay, okay, Patrick. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, now you hold hold on, right, right, quick. No problem, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, uh, Patrick, you still there? Absolutely, sir. So yeah, Pat Patrick, I appreciate you waiting. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, my my family about ready to sit down and eat some d dinner, but maybe we can get this. Uh, I, I think it's good timing because it'll probably take us like four to, four to five, sixty minutes to eat it. But uh, I think we might be able to get this right. finished. So th thank you for waiting. No problem at all, sir. I'll get you free in like another five, seven minutes, okay? Okay, pa Patrick, sir, I'll tell you what, if you, if you could, uh... Record for you. Oh, I'm, sorry I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to say, Patrick, if you could if you could get me like a mail and address or, or your phone, some, some way to get something over to you, I'll send you some of my goat milk, you know. It's un uncultured, but I think it'll really, you know, it helps your gut. And it, it tastes wow. real good. <laughs> that is so nice of you to ask, sir. Really. I mean, like, thank you so much. And I will certainly provide you my mailing address, sir. Okay, yeah, I got a, and I got a pen. Hey, I got a, a, that a, you'll visit me someday. Uh, I don't want you to send it. I want you to, you know, visit my place someday and bring it. And don't forget your guitar. And then we can be, you know, we can proceed with our things. Yeah. How does that yeah, sound? Yeah, I mean that that could be nice. I, I do want to get out to California. I mean, do, do you have an address then, or, or how? Do, I, I got a pen. Right, that's what I'm saying, sir. I'll provide you my mailing address, and uh, you come and visit me in the California. Okay. Yeah, I, I and, got a pen uh, down here right now. You, you, your, what's what's your address then, Patrick? Sure, I'll go ahead and provide you, sir. But first things first. I would, I'm creating a diagnostic report for this computer, which mentions all the problems that I have noticed onto the computer. So it is a critical infection, and we do not want more time uh, for this infection to uh, spread onto the computer. So what I'm trying to say is that immediately a technician should be assigned onto this computer, and uh, the work has to be start immediately, okay? So I want you to type in this information for me, which is there on your computer. I want you to type in your name your email because a detailed report will be sent out on your email address and the best phone number to reach you and the address along with the city state and the zip code help me with these details here sir type in this information for me okay all right now is this kind of like one of those i, I give you my details you give me your detail are you, are you typing your stuff below sir that's a, a later part don't worry about that okay we we can, we have all the time in the world to chit chat. So le let's proceed with the work first, and let's get your computer sorted. And uh, once you know the technician will start to work onto the computer, then I would have a relief, and then I can speak with you for like another hour if you want, and I'll give you all the details. Okay. So, all right. I mean, I, I do gotta eat this casserole with my family, but I wish I could have you here to eat it with me, Patrick. I I really do. <laughs> Well, that is so nice of you, sir. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. It means a lot. 
So type in this information for me here, sir. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I got that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for calling online technical support. My name is Uh, pa Patrick, so sorry I'm going so slow here. I'm, I'm doing my best. No problem, sir. Take your time. Now, Patrick, are you okay using like a landline phone? Sure. I just need the number to so that the technicians can reach you, sir. The best number to reach you. Okay, so like a land a landline is okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so sorry about that. Along with the zip code, sir. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Sure. That's no wrong. Sir, so, are you in Bakerfield or Ackward? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? Are you in Bakersfield or Ackward? I'm in uh, Ackworth is, is the city I'm in. I'm in a little town uh, right outside of, out of Ackworth called Bakerfield. It's like my li like a little village, you know. There's like a like seven or eight of us in a little uh, cul-de-sac. Okay. Fab with me. Okay. Now let me tell you, sir, that. In order to go ahead and fix up the computer, there is a charge of two forty nine ninety nine, and uh, the security that needs to be installed onto the computer, you can select either for the one year security, two years of security, three years of security, and a permanent 
that is a lifetime security that means what this means one year two year three year what this simply means is sir that if you go in for a one year security it's valid only for one year and it will expire after one year and you would have to renew the security so is with two years so is with three year but talking about lifetime or permanent security you don't have to renew it every now and then once you have the security your computer will be protected from any sort of malicious threat till the time you would be using it and just in case you plan to buy a new computer a new device don't worry you don't have to buy a new security for that because this security is a transferable security all you have to do is just give us a call and we'll go ahead and transfer the security from your old computer to your new computer okay so talking about the security sir the one year security is okay, for okay. 129.99 the two years of security is for 189.99 and the three year security is for 249.99 whereas the permanent which is the lifetime security is for 699.99 Wow, that I, now wow. you. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little speechless, Patrick. I that, that's a lot of money for me right now. Well, sir, you know what you can do is you can go in with the VIX and the one year of security. You know, it's like on. Um, I'm. I have mentioned these so that you can select and decide for yourself, sir. Right. My I, first I mean, recommendation to you would be a permanent security. Because well, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, I want to be able to talk to you for 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 any time I need I need help with my computer. I, I I'd like to be be able to call you any time, Patrick. You know, for the for the rest of forever. I, I Absolutely. Just, yeah, I mean. I, Absolutely, you would be able to do that. Who's who's saying that you won't be able to do that, sir? Right. Well, well, if I, I mean, six hundred and ninety nine, seven seven hundred buckaroos is a, is a lot for me right now. I don't know if you have any sort of senior citizen discount or like a, if I if I could get give some of my goat cheese over to you. I I don't know if I could get a discount. Well, sir, you don't sound like a senior citizen to me. But then, since you have mentioned, I would want to ask you, how old are you, sir? Well, I'm I'm just around that line, you know. I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty close. I'm not. I'm not quite, you know, up to the six in the in the seventies or anything, but I, I am getting close, if you know what I mean. So I, I figured I'd ask. Right. So, uh, could I ask you how old you uh, you are, sir? Well, yeah. I I, I guess uh, I gotta be honest. I I tell you, I'm I, I'm just forty forty eight. I just thought, well, <laughs> you know, we gotta go for it. I thought Man, that's that's still getting up there, you know. <laughs> Okay, you well all right. Okay. So this this is a product, okay? And uh, this is something wherein we cannot go ahead and provide you any sort of, you know, discount. But discount is somewhere that I can provide you in the fixation. Okay? So what do you, what what do you, you mean do? about wait, I have Sorry. to pay are are you saying I have to pay the two, the two hundred and forty nine for the fixes, for fixations, and the, and the six ninety nine for the security? That's correct, sir. So that's what I'm saying. The fixation part, I can get you a discount here, but if you talk about the permanent and uh, the security, that is somewhere that I won't be able to help with the uh, you know. Okay, yeah, because that's like a that's like a a Windows a Windows security cost. Well, what, what how how low can we get that to? Is there any, any way you could maybe you know just throw that two forty nine in there for free or something? Can you waive the fee? You know, I feel like we we have a real connection here, Patrick. Okay. Well, so I would have to speak with my managers, so with the billing department. So, I uh, want you to stay on the line for like quick 30 seconds, can you? 
Yeah, I I can be here. I, you know, I just don't want to get, have that casserole get too cold. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Just give me a quick thirty seconds. Thank you for staying connected, sir. I really appreciate your patience, and I apologize for the long delay. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, that wasn't too long. I, I thought it might be, you know, like 10, 15 minutes, so I appreciate that. Uh, no, no, not at all, sir. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. If it's a minute, I'll say a minute. Yeah, you know, my my yeah. my bro, my bro, if you know, my brother, actually, I, I was I was messaging him in between, and and he, he did offer to help me pay a huh? little bit, and I, I appreciate that. You know, he told he told me he could help me pay with, so so that that helps out, right? Okay, so, all right. Well, I just had a word with the billing department, sir, and to be very honest with you, the the only this charge that is here, okay, this is the charge for the technicians. Technicians earn through this charge, okay. And uh, because this is just a security, it's a third-party security that we would have to buy and install into your computer. But that's like something else altogether. So the technicians who would be working and including me, so this is the one-time fix uh, that would be charged. But then what best we could do for you is, sir, we could... I'm sorry, are you using your computer? No, is, is everything okay? Yes. Yeah. So the best we could do for you is we could make it one seventy nine ninety nine for you. Okay, yeah, that okay. that is a little bit of a discount. Yes, that's the best we could do. Now, uh, can I ask you which card would you be using, sir? Will it be a Visa, Master, American Express, or Discover? Well, now, now do you guys uh, well, any any chance I could just uh, mail you a check? So I apologize, we do not accept physical checks, but then if you want to, uh, to pay through check, then we can go ahead and, you know, use an e-check right now. So that should not be a problem at all. Paying through check is absolutely fine. You have the check in hand with you? I don't know what an, I don't know what an e-check is. I, I do have, uh, uh, what, what do they call it? The, uh. I don't. I don't know what an e-check is, sir, Patrick. If you can, I'll sure. I'll tell you. Not a problem, sir. Now, if you can make the payment through card, that would be really good. But if in case you want to use a check, uh, it it shall be fine too. So e-check is nothing but just a virtual check, sir. I will be taking the check number and the details uh, to uh, from you right now, and. Uh, Whatever check you would be giving me, you don't use it for any other transaction. Just cancel that, void that, and then it's all set. Don't worry. So the physical check that you would be posting and mailing, you don't have to do any sort of, uh, sort of that posting or anything. You just have to cancel that check and uh, we would be able to use it. Okay? Okay, so I'll just... And then I ma I mail it to you. No, no, you don't have to mail anything, sir. Don't have to mail anything. I will be just taking in the information from you, or, uh, the check details. I will be taking, and then uh, that that would be it. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I would feel more com. I, I don't really understand that. I do have a. I do think I'd feel more comfortable just like you know going online and and logging in and and paying if that's okay with like a. Do we, do we go somewhere to buy the, the, the software is, or whatever you said? Uh, I, I'm not sure, sir. What do you mean? Well, like la last time I bought some, uh, I, I bought a couple pots of pans, you know, from Sears, and I, and I went to their website and I typed it in. So is, uh -huh. is there a way I could just give you my, my credit card through, through the Sears.com or something? Oh, uh, no, sir. Okay, you don't have like a website or something I can type in my, my card? 
We do. We I would be processing the transaction right in front of you, sir. And uh, do not worry, because this is a data protection act. We work under a data protection act, and all the lines are recorded. So no information will be saved or no information would be stolen from your computer because you are connected with our network right now. So don't worry about your information getting stolen because since you're connected with us, we'll make sure everything works absolutely fine for you, okay? So uh, what Please, so card is it? Is it a Visa or a Master that you'll be using? It's actually one of them PayPal cards. You, you heard of those PayPal cards? A PayPal card. Yeah, and I, and I just got one of them sent in the mail. I, I gave them over all my social security and everything recently, and I'm really eager to use it. Sure, you can use, uh, help me with the card number, sir. Is it a v like Visa or a Master? I, well, I don't know. My, my, son, my, son, my son gave me like a card that says PayPal on it, and it has like a username and a password. A username and a password? Yeah, he said to set okay, me up with a PayPal. In simple words, uh, we can use either a credit or a debit card and not a PayPal card. Oh, okay. okay we don't right. do transactions through PayPal or Western Union or iTunes card. We don't use all of those, these cards, sir, because these are unsecured transactions. We do only secure transactions either through a check or through a credit or a debit card. I want to know what love is. And I want you to show me, Patrick. I want to know what love is. Patrick, I'll tell you what. I, I, I got to... I got to understand here, Patrick. I thought you and I had a connection. I thought we had a real thing going for a while. But to, well, be on, uh, but to be honest, we'll I, I, don't quite, yeah, I don't quite. Talk about this later. Yeah, I don't quite and, understand. Uh, right now, I want you to tell me which card would you be using. Will, will it be a Visa or a Master credit or a debit card, or will you be paying by check? Well, Patrick, I, you know, I got. I don't think I'm gonna be giving you a card because Patrick, come on, man, you're like you're breaking my heart, dude. I thought in the beginning you were gonna be a nice, legitimate guy. And then all of a sudden, like, you're scamming people, man. Like, this is a joke. There's no way. None of this is legitimate. There's nothing you got to fix on my computer. Lifetime transferable network security. Patrick, come on. Like, I legitimately, I'm sad. Like, you seemed like a really upstanding, nice guy. You were like, we were talking together. Is it? Are you new to this job? Okay. Like, is is this one of the first times you've done this? Because I, I mean, I don't understand how a guy like you could get caught up in something like this, Patrick. You seem like a really nice guy. Do you understand that this is a scam? Is this? Have you heard that before? Like, do you understand that you're, you're lying and trying to take advantage of people? Do you realize that you've been wasting my time? Yes, I do. And and that's that's what's like, Patrick. I thought you were for a minute. I thought you weren't even. And gonna that's the worst thing that you could ever do to someone because time is precious. Time is more precious than money. So so Patrick, ever heard that? Patrick, ever you, heard you that? You're a big scammer. Patrick, you actually think? I'm so sorry, I thought that, that we were that, having a nice taking, connection there, but then I'm taking, so sorry like, to say you're a big scammer. You basically Don't scam people. Don't Patrick, scam. Trust Patrick, me, no one's gonna forgive I, you if you I, waste I, their precious time. Patrick, I have not scammed You're anything realized. from you. You would have sat on the phone with countless people and tried Repent to take now. their money. You would have you would have sat Repent here with now. Patrick. Patrick, listen to yes. me, man. You don't actually believe that you you don't actually believe that what you're doing is right and I've done something wrong. <laughs> you Patrick well, I was on I the I was on the phone with you for 70 right minutes. We were talking to each other. We were on the phone for 70 sure. minutes. Which means Sir, you did not get to talk to a bunch to you, of other okay? people. Because I've been talking to you from quite a while now. You've been a really nice person. You played guitar, you sang and everything. Yeah. All good, okay? Everything is appreciated. But what's not appreciated is the time wastage. You know, time is really important for me. You I agree. Can't, you don't understand. 
how frustrating and how aggressive I get if someone wastes my time because I like to utilize it. Okay. Well, Patrick, then what are you doing so stuck behind? You, what are you doing sir, scamming unlike, people with your unlike time? Unlike you, I don't like wasting time. Patrick, go do something else with your life. You don't need to sit behind this well, counter. I am or doing what. You, listen, you I am doing what I'm best at, and don't you don't teach me what I'm supposed to do or not. I'm doing the best job in the world, assisting people, helping people. I've got so many happy customers. You're the only You're, one who came today Patrick. and just spoiled my mood. Patrick, do you realize that there's, I'm on a virtual... Are you still on my computer, Patrick? Patrick, this is a virtual machine. There's nothing wrong with this computer. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this computer. I man. know. It is a virtual machine. I know it is a virtual machine. When did you... F that is the reason... Uh, <laughs> Patrick, you didn't know what that. What do you think? You spent hey, 70 hey, minutes... What do you think? Patrick? I know. So you, so now what you're, you whoa, 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 Patrick, you didn't know because you wouldn't have wasted your time and you just said time is precious. Hey, hey. So don't try to hey. pull this 180 do you know thing. what MS32, do you know what MS Info32 command is for? Yes, I know what it is. And that's the first thing that I do in your computer. You know it, yeah. right? Yeah. So the very first, the moment you get got over here, I knew that it is a virtual machine. What do you think? So I'm a fool the way here, you bro? were making up the voices, I knew that you were a black man, okay? And not an old man at all. I knew each and everything about you, okay? You the very I'm first a... time when you called in. But so... listen, I have to... This is a recorded line, and I have to take calls professionally, and I just cannot say that you are a scammer. But then, until you opened up, that's when I had the time to say things. And now I'm saying it, okay? Patrick, you're lying to me again. There's no oh my way. God. There's listen. no way. Listen, John. Listen, John. So this is all recorded lines, okay? Yeah, and we are I'm not sure just allowed sure to do anything that we want. Okay? Then why were you so singing with me? Why did you sing with me? Your manager what? is going to hear you singing the boot scoot and boogie with me, man. Do you think he's going to appreciate yeah. your time? Did you did you not realize that then that time when I was doing this? That I know what you are doing. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. And you think you're clever? Oh my god. I feel bad for you, man. I really do. I, I hope that listen, I know you if this is really a recorded line. <laughs> I feel I'm, bad I'm, for you, John. Well, here, here's John the, McCormick. McCormick? Like the spice brand? Patrick. Yeah, that's what your name is, right? Patrick, listen, we don't I, I don't think you understand. Okay, that. listen. Now no, that no, now, now no. that I have a proof of you being a prankster, I can disconnect your call. Okay. Okay, Patrick, give me five more. You've been so nice. Yeah. Give me like thirty more seconds of your time. Okay. Please. Okay. You take it. When give you go, it. thank you. I know it's valuable for you, so I'm gonna be short. Okay, Patrick. I mean this for real. Okay. When you go home tonight, please think about what you're uh -huh. doing. Your company, the w the way I found your number. Perfect. The way I found your number was because your your time. listen wait your your company showed a fake message saying that I had a Trojan virus in my computer and to call Microsoft tech support. You are not Microsoft, and you spent seventy minutes trying to convince me that I had network worms and issues with my computer, and it was a lie and it was a scam. And you're trying to take advantage of innocent people. You might not know that. Maybe it's just your job what and you're did I show and you? you're and you're reading a script, what did okay? I show you? So, listen, Patrick, you're trying to be a good employee, but please listen, go I home. I did not even do anything on your computer. You showed me a event realize? viewer. You tried to convince me that What that did there I was... show you? What did I show you? Tell this me. this oh, actually sure. is indeed a recorded uh, line as well and and I you know I I video, you know, uh -huh. the whole thing. So I I can go back and you you definitely showed me a whole bunch of garbage trying yes, to tell yes. tell me that I Pro. that I had problems yeah, on I my computer. To, uh, so. I want you I want you to check your video after you disconnect uh, after we disconnect this call, check your video and see what did I show you, okay? And then give us a call back again. All right? I'll be right here waiting for your call. Patrick, what do you mean, man? You showed me Event Viewer. You typed in the command prompt. You did all kinds of stuff trying to convince me that there are problems. You're not. You don't seriously think. No, I didn't use command prompt. 
and I didn't, you, uh, you know, I opened the event viewer. I did not show you anything. I did not tell you anything about the event viewer. So there is a difference Patrick, when you you're open crazy, something. Man. And, <laughs> you're crazy. Hey, so you actually I think thought, that, you know, so you think that you're not. You scared. actually lost at what you were doing. Do you think that people, I want, that's dude. To, that's to on a high, high scale. <laughs> Patrick, I spent 80 minutes with you, dude. I won, man. You eighty minutes of I you know. not scamming you some didn't. someone else. Trust me, you didn't. Okay. Trust me, you didn't. Okay, Patrick. Yeah. And whatever, whatever you gotta but tell the yourself. The only thing where you won, the only only place where you won, is because uh, is I never let anyone waste my time. You know, so that's the so only. So you you willingly only, gave it to the me only then. Part okay. Where so. you won. Okay. Okay. So that's the uh, only that makes part. that makes absolutely no sense, Patrick. But I I know that maybe you have to say this stuff. Uh, because you're on a recorded line and your manager's there. So please, Patrick, please oh, go no. home and think about these things. C- consider what you're doing. Uh, you, you know, I, I understand you know, that you might be in a like, tough situation. That email, by the way, is real. So if you want to email me, go ahead. Uh, um, pa- P- Patrick, you seem no, like a nice guy. Hopefully you can find a different line of work. Hopefully you can find some legitimate you know, jobs, some, some legitimate business. I am business really happy at will... what I'm doing. I studied a lot in order to do all these things. So you don't, don't you worry about that. Patrick, this, okay? you know I'm what you're doing is a I'm lie. Doing. You know what you're doing is a lie. If you really studied for this, That's then... That's what you think. Okay. Listen, if there's something in your mind, even God himself come down and tell you that Patrick is correct, you wouldn't believe him because that's in your head and that's what you believe. So I'm not here to give you justifications, okay? Patrick, listen, I'm not going to waste any more of my time with you. You're getting me, you're you're making me angry. I'm trying to be serious here, okay? You're delusional, man. (laughs) You know what you're doing is wrong, okay? You need to come to grips with reality. you, You Okay. Anyway, it was nice I, speaking with you. I would yeah. have to disconnect this call now, okay? Hey, Patrick, please go home and okay. think about this, okay? Well, you think about what you are doing, you know? I, I am glad. I'm, I'll tell you what, Patrick, I'm going to call, your, I'm gonna you're call you guys back. I'm going to call you guys back right now. I, I know exactly what I'm doing, and I'm and maybe, I'm happy with maybe it. Maybe so. the next person wouldn't as be sweet as I was, okay? <laughs> They're usually not. I'm so. surprised that you just let me take 80 minutes of your 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 scammer time. So, hey, you know what? 80 well, minutes that somebody else wasn't getting scammed. That's that's a good one. That's a win in my book, boys and girls. You know, so I am I'm not gonna, the only person working Patrick, here. We have like I know, man. 250. That's why I'm I'm moving on to the so next guy. One person. And, 80 uh, minutes is not a big deal. Trust me. Okay? Here's the thing, though, Patrick. You're making no difference, but just wasting Patrick, your time. <laughs> here's the thing, man. I you are like by far. You, you are by <laughs> far. This call, otherwise, I'll burst out laughing. Okay? Well, it's fine, but Patrick, you are by far the most. You are like the nicest, most convincing person that I've ever. T- I've talked to like hundreds of tech support scammers, so I I would happily like sit here and and waste more of your time. But there's, I think there's other people that that need to understand what they're doing is wrong. And, um, right. you know what, Patrick, I, I feel for you, man. I, I really, I really hope that later when you're not on a recorded line that you'd think about this. Okay. Uh, please get a legitimate sure. job. Sure. Please, please do not call and pray on people pr- that, that have no, know nothing about their computers. Okay. If you were, if you were a real Microsoft tech support agent, you would not be pulling this kind of nonsense. So, all right, Patrick. Thanks for singing with me, dude. Take uh, care. Thanks for singing with me. No problem. Take care. Is this real life? Did this happen? <laughs> No, I, I actually just forgot, actually, that email, 